saw today. He's like, I need it. My favorite part is from Home Sense. The hem nets. Let me. Let me. Baskets. Hey guys, it's Shannon here, and today I'll be doing a haul video. Basically, it's what I purchased the past couple of days at Ikea and at HomeSense. So I'll go over what I purchased from HomeSense first. This one is a shower curtain for our guest bath and it's a sort of linen kind of um, material and it's a, I want to say cream color. It's pretty nice and the back here shows you what it looks like. But the thing is with this one, it doesn't come with the shower curtain ring. They didn't have any that I liked at the time, so I'll have to purchase them. This was $20. It says comparable at $30, so that's the first item. Next one is a baking tray with also another baking grid. It's a nice turquoise Tiffany blue kind of color. This was $14.99. Original price is $20. Super cute. Okay. And then I got a cheese grater because we don't have one at home. This one has all sorts of different like holes and grits. And this was $6.99. What else? Oh, I got mini whisks. Just because I purchased a whisk that was really big and lately because we've been baking, my husband sometimes makes banana cake and he said that we should have some small ones at home too. I really like this because it has one that is coated with silicone and then the other one is just metal. The silicone lining seemed to be better at not scratching the pot, so that's good. This one was $5.99 for both of them, comparable at $8. And then I bought a bag of Himalayan salt, and this is 500 grams, so 1.1 pounds, so this is definitely going to last me for a long time. This was $4.99. This one is... Sonoma Pantry Organics Italian Blend. I needed Italian spice just because it has a little bit of everything. This is a nice one in a nice modern glass container. Next up, I bought wine glasses from Riedel. And it's, is this a line? I don't know. It's called a Canto. I don't know. This was, how much was it? $29.99. I already used this. It's fine. This was a sort of expensive cake pan. This is by OXO. I think OXO items are on the slightly pricier side, similar to Joseph Joseph, maybe slightly cheaper than Joseph Joseph. It's sort of a champagne color. This is 9 inches by 13 inches, and this was $19.99. Original price is $30 for this tray. And then I've been so obsessed with buying baskets just because I think everyone is going through an organization phase and choosing nice containers or baskets to put things in to organize just makes things look a lot nicer. I've been looking on Pinterest to see what kind of inspiration I can get for or organizing things. So I decided to buy these two baskets. Apparently they're made in Vietnam and they were pretty decently priced. Oh, $15 each. I think last time we went to Canadian Tire, the sm a smaller basket was close to $20, so this is a pretty good deal in my opinion, and I think I'll have these in my master ensuite. The next item is my favorite purchase from HomeSense, and it's this nice, beautiful basket that has a lining inside. Which is great because I feel like these kind of materials, if you put anything that's delicate or any fabric, it might sort of pull on the material. So if it has a lining, then it can sort of protect whatever you put inside. And this basket was really good price. It was $25. Wow, it was only $25. I was looking at similar ones from Ikea, and Ikea is already pretty cheap. And I think there's one that I really like. It was around $40 but it doesn't have a lining from what I remember in the pictures. My idea for this is to put in extra pillows or extra throws that I'll have in the living room. So I actually got this throw. It's a nice woven throw with tassels at the end because obviously it's very trendy these days. And I got this for also $24.99. It says original price is $35. Probably put them in here, and then I see a lot of people on Pinterest when they put throws in baskets, they sort of like let it hang over on the side, so it just looks a lot prettier. I think that's all from HomeSense. 
Now I'll be going over things that I got from Ikea, which is quite a lot. Oh, actually, no. I bought a rug from HomeSense as well. It was 7 foot by 10 foot, and it was $3.99. And I'll show you a picture probably here of what it looks like. Next up, Ikea items. See, these are to organize plates, so you something like this. I want to see if this can organize my pot lids. I originally wanted to buy their pot lid organizer by the time it was all sold out at Ikea, so I decided to just get these instead just to see if they work. If not, then I'll just put plates on here. I purchased the Rollswell LED lights just because we're using them in our kitchen for the pendant light. We also purchased this like fishbowl-like thing that covers the light. I'll show you what it looks like in the kitchen. But anyways, I purchased a couple items for pendant lights in the kitchen. And then to organize things in the kitchen, we don't really have a pantry, but just more like kitchen cabinets. So I didn't want them to look very messy. We've been stuck at home, so everyone has been baking. So I purchased these glass jar containers and then I purchased a lid for each of them. I purchased a few of them to put either, you know, my all-purpose flour, cake flour, bread flour, sugar, etc. So they'll be in here, nice and organized. Purchase this to also put whatever I find in the kitchen that needs to be stuck in here, maybe pasta or something like that. More containers and jars. This one was a little bit cheaper because it's this like flip lid like this. I bought small ones as well. Yeah, more of the same glass jars in here. And then I purchased a recycling garbage bin and it has this lid that has one side that flips up. We don't have any trash cans in a lot of the washrooms right now because we just haven't found ones that we think look nice in the washroom. So for now, I just got these ones. They're very simple looking ones and I think it's gonna do the job. These will do until we find new ones. Also got this one, a smaller one for a smaller washroom. Uh, but this one, because I guess the opening is smaller, it doesn't have that flip up part of the garbage bin. These for dishwashing. I purchased this soup spoon. And then just a tan colored hand towel for the gas bathroom and the main floor. This is a nice teal glass jar, same as the other ones, but this is just in a different color. And then one of my favorite baskets for organizing things. I actually have one in the kitchen already, put um, my fruits and stuff in there or like snacks is this Rizzatorp basket and it has a nice bamboo handle here and like a mesh metal white base. And cork placemats, more lids for the containers, more organizing jars. This is a tray that I'll probably use either in bed or on the sofa while I'm lounging. The legs flip out like this so I can have it on my lap and then have my laptop here and I can work here without me having to just put it on my lap and have it too low. I haven't used it yet, I don't know if it fits exactly how I want it to, but it was $15 or so. So thought, what the heck, I'll try it. Ugh, this thing is the massive chopping board. It's like this big, it's like two of me that my husband wanted. He saw it today and he's like, I need it. This is gonna use up a lot of space. Oh, I think that's all. Oh no, we've purchased a canvas shoe cabinet that we built yesterday. So I'll show you what that looks like. But anyways, in terms of the shoe rack, we replaced the knobs. Instead of the black ones that came with the shoe cabinet, we changed it to a gold knob so that it just looks more modern and a little bit more unique. I actually posted it on Instagram and people didn't know it was from Ikea because of the knobs. I think that's an easy hack just to upgrade any Ikea cabinet is by changing the knobs. And you can find these pretty knobs from Zara, from like AliExpress, from wherever. But I purchased them on Taobao and they were just a couple dollars each. Pretty good price. I think that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this kind of a video and let me know if you have any questions down below. I'll see you next time. Bye.